Okay, so before the video starts, I just want to say, if you guys have a treehouse, don't do this. It's not a smart idea. And for you ladies out there that really want to just do the devil's tango, don't do it in your treehouse. It's just not cool. Anyways, guys, today's story is a little insane. It does get a little wild. So make sure you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. Seriously, means a lot when you guys do. And on top of that, did I mention that I have a Discord server for you to join that you guys can come in, hang out in, and basically tell your guys' crazy stories? Yeah, so make sure you guys do click the link in the description down below and click on the Discord link and join in the Discord. Seriously, means a lot when you guys do and also i get to talk to you guys and you guys get to talk to me and it's just awesome fun stuff like who doesn't want to talk to me okay maybe the girls i've done the devil's tango don't but still you know that's not what i mean anyways guys going on let's just get straight into this crazy insane story yo what is going on you guys my name is bubba and welcome back to another crazy story so this story takes place funny enough this was actually my grade 11 year my grade 11 year and i loved it my grade 11 year was the year where i literally was like the ultimate f boy like no matter what girl came towards me i knew that it was gonna go down in the pants. Sorry, that sounds really severe. YouTube, don't demonetize me. But going on with the story, I remember basically my grade 11 year, there was one girl that was really interested in me. And I remember I met her off Tinder and me and her, we started talking and stuff. And she was just some hot chick I knew. Me and her, we never really got close because she lived in the other side of town. But you know, over time, me and her, we were really considering seeing each other. And me, since I had a nice blue sports car, I knew that it was one of the perfect moments to. So I remember I was at home one day and I was playing Call of Duty with the boys. And I was telling the boys, yo, man, and like, I really want to hang out with this chick. She's super hot. But like her parents are always home and my parents are always home. And like, there's no way to actually get it done. My buddy ended up telling me, bro, just go do it in the woods. Like every couple does, bro. Like bend her over a log and just get it done. Yeah. I don't know about that is what I told him. But honestly, over time, you know, as I was talking to the boys, they're all just saying, just go out, see what happens. Like, you know, like I'm not going to lie. You guys find it kind of crazy that doing like, you know, the devil's tango in public is insane. And don't get me wrong. It is. And no one should be doing it. But it's a very common thing that teenagers do. So me knowing this, I just messaged her straight up. I'm like, you know what? You just want to just chill in my car, you know, go for a drive or something. She ended up messaging me back saying, oh my God, like, I would love that. Like, let's go in your car. Let's do it. I'm so down. So I remember the next day I ended up getting all the things I needed, even a rubber. And I ended up getting in my car and driving over to her side of town. When I got to her side of town, like she lived in like a really foresty area. So in my head, I was thinking, oh, I mean, if I have to do it in the woods, I'll just do it in the woods. And then over time, I remember when I first got to her place and I parked my car, I looked at my gas and I saw that. I didn't have a lot of gas left and me being a high school student and you know not having a lot of money coming into my pocket because well I didn't have a YouTube channel nor an actual proper job I was kind of like uh, maybe I don't want to drive because I just have enough gas to get home is what I thought in my head so I remember I ended up getting out of the car and she came out of her house and she's like hey like how are you doing and she was like wearing like a super tight outfit like a super tight outfit like she could make that a super suit like Elastigirl can't even rock that thing dude so I remember she ended up looking at me and she's like, so like, let's get in your car. And like me, I looked at it and I'm like, yeah, actually I was thinking about going for a walk, to be honest. Like I need some exercise and I just had a long drive. It was a 15 minute drive. I had a long drive. Like, you know, like I want to just like go for a walk. She looked at me kind of like weird and she's like, oh uh, yeah, sure. Like I don't mind. And me and her, we start going for a walk. As me and her were walking, she kept like grabbing on to me. She kept trying to cuddle me while we were walking. I don't even know how that works, but she tried to basically latch on to me like a wolf. And me, I kind of just like, you know, kept my distance but at the same time let her do it because you know i i knew where this was going i think we all knew where this was going but anyways going on with the story she was just really just wanting me and she wanted it bad so i remember as like a thing i was like you know what like do you want to just go into the woods and like just do it and she looked at me she's like oh you want to do the devil's tango and i'm like yeah yeah like we can just go do it in the woods she looks at me she's like um i don't know how i feel about that like these are public woods that anyone can walk into but i have an idea as she like grabs my wrist and drags me back to her house and as we we're going to my house i'm like aren't your parents home she's like oh yeah but we're not gonna go in the house i'm like where are we gonna go she's like just follow me just follow me as i was walking with her i remember we ended up going to her backyard and i straight up told her listen i'm not gonna do it in your backyard your brother's window is literally right there because her brother's window pointed out to the backyard because she had a little brother and she ends up telling me oh like no like my little brother's not home right now like he's out with like skateboarding with his friends like don't worry about it like just just come on i have an idea as we go further back into the backyard i legit see this giant tree house it, okay, it wasn't that big. It was kind of crammed, but it was a really cool big tree house. And I remember there was like a ladder to go up to it and everything. There was like a rope to climb up if you wanted to. It was a really awesome tree house. And I remember I looked at her. I'm like, this is awesome. And she's like, yeah, like, let's go inside the tree house. What? You want to do it in a tree house is what I said. I don't know. It was very new to me and I was like super down for it. So I remember I ended up climbing up the ladder. She climbed up as well. And when we got to the top of the tree house, I see a bunch of stickers. I see a poster of Megan Fox just up on the wall. I see blankets on the ground. 
ground. I see pillows. Like, it was actually a really awesome treehouse. And I remember I was looking around. I saw, like, there was a Game Boy on the ground and stuff. And I'm like, this is really cool. I don't know. I was amazed by the treehouse. Like, really amazed. And then I got to the point where me and her, we ended up just cuddling and we ended up making out. And, well, you guys know the story usually. One thing led to another. We ended up doing the Devil's Tango. So once we were doing that, I remember we went on for, like, 20 minutes. And after a while, I ended up hearing, like, kind of footsteps in the grass just kind of happen. And me, I remember I heard that. I'm like, what is that noise? And out of nowhere, I see a little boy looking through the window of his like treehouse balcony area. And he was pointing his iPhone camera towards the window. And he legit was recording me doing his sister and doing the devil's tango. I remember I instantly saw that and I pulled my pants up as fast as I could. And I'm like, whoa, kid, what are you doing? And then after that, this girl like looked at me and she's like, why did you stop? Oh my goodness, what are you doing here? I remember like they all started like panicking and stuff. And I remember his friends were at the door watching us. So they were watching us from like behind. And like, it was super embarrassing. And what this girl did to this day will always like be implanted in my mind. Cause I remember this girl ended up jumping through the treehouse window and pushing her little brother off the treehouse. Like no joke. I swear that kid might've broke his leg or something. I have no idea. This girl literally pushed her little brother off the treehouse. He fell down on the ground. Boom. Like I thought he was dead, dude. Dead. Like, I, I have no idea. So I remember I ended up looking down and the little brother, like one of his friends came up to me saying, nice job, dude. And yet patting my back as if I did like a big accomplishment. I don't know. Usually that happens in the boys locker room, but this guy did in his friend's tree house for some reason. And I remember this girl ended up literally jumping down with the rope and grabbing the little brother's phone, deleting the video and says, never do that again. You understand me? And slaps her little brother. Dude, it was the most intense thing I've ever seen. And I really wanted to laugh because it's funny when kids get hurt. But at the same time, I couldn't. I don't know. It's just a me thing, I guess. And a uh, long story short. Yeah. So her dad ended up coming outside. It was a whole disaster. And yeah, let's just say when, you know, she told her dad that I was from Tinder. Uh, yeah, he told me to leave right away. So I remember I got in my car and when I got in my car, for some reason, this was a really nice thing that dad did. And to this day, like if you're watching this, the father of that girl, you're awesome, dude. Cause I remember he walked me to my car and when I turned on my car, he saw my gas and he saw I didn't have much gas left. So he gave me like 50 bucks to fill my tank. What a nice guy, dude. So yeah, I ended up driving home. And from there, I ended up just going back home, going on my Xbox and saying I did it to the treehouse with the boys. And uh, they all were really shocked about it. But honestly, it was pretty awesome. Anyways, guys, that's basically it for today's story. So make sure you do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. Seriously, it means a lot when you guys do. And on top of that, did I mention, once again, join the Discord server. Join it. Join it right now. Like, seriously, you have the next three seconds to join the Discord server. If you guys don't, I'm going to cry. Anyways, like I always say, fall for more embarrassing stories. All right, peace out, guys. My name is Some more. She said she loved me, she captured I asked it for sure I got a hundred K for my life's work So mama said bro